All right, we are live, and this is Daily Evening Prayer, uh, Monday at the 15th of November, and uh, we are the Anglican Diocese of San Joaquin. My name is Rob Todd, and I am from Grace Anglican here in Turlock, California. Welcome. Let us begin. Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we, had, which we ought not to have done, and apart from your grace there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the invitatory. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Please join me in the fossil Aaron. O oh, gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are, wor you are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm appointed for this evening start with Psalm 39, let us say responsively, switching at the asterisk. I said, I will take heed to my ways. That I may not offend with my tongue. I will keep my mouth as with a bridle. While the ungodly are in my sight. I held my tongue and spoke nothing. I kept silence even from good words, but it was pain and grief to me. My heart was hot within me, and while I was thus pondering, the fire kindled. And at the last I spoke with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days. That I may learn how short my life is. Behold, you have made my days as a span in length. And my age is even as nothing before you, and truly everyone living is but a breath. For everyone walks about as a shadow and disquiets himself in vain. He heaps up riches and cannot tell who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly, my hope is in you. Deliver me from all my offenses. And make me not a taunt of the foolish. I became mute and opened not my mouth. For it was you that brought it to pass. Take your affliction from me. I am consumed by the blows of your heavy hand. When you, with rebukes, chasten someone for sin, you consume what is dear to him, like a moth eating a garment. Everyone, therefore, is but vanity. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and with your ears consider my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. For I am a stranger with you and a sojourner as all my fathers were. Oh, turn your gaze from me that I may again be glad. 
before I go away to be seen no more. Continuing with Psalm 41. Blessed is the one who considers the poor and needy. The Lord shall deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord preserves him and keeps him alive that he may be blessed upon earth. And delivers him not over to the will of his enemies. The Lord comforts him when he lies sick upon his bed. And restores him from his bed of sickness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die and his name perish? And if anyone comes to see me, he speaks empty words. His heart conceives falsehood within him, and when he goes forth, he tells it. All my enemies whisper together against me. Even against me are they devising evil. A deadly thing has taken hold of him. And now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. Indeed, even my own familiar friend, whom I trusted, who also ate of my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But be merciful to me, O Lord. Rise me up again, and I shall repay them. By this I know you favor me. That my enemy does not triumph over me. And when I am in health, you uphold me. And shall set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. World without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first lesson is a reading from the prophet Isaiah, beginning with the 28th chapter, the first verse. Can't hear anything. Bear with me, folks. I apologize. Let us start that over. Ah, the proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim, and the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is on the head of the rich valley of those overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord has one who is mighty and strong, like a storm of hail, a destroying tempest, like a storm of mighty, overflowing waters, he casts down to the earth with his hand. The proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim will be trodden underfoot, and the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is on the head of the rich valley, will be like a first-ripe fig before the summer. When someone sees it, he swallows it as soon as it is in his hand. In that day the Lord of hosts will be a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people, and a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment, and strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. These also reel with wine and stagger with strong drink. The priest and the prophet reel with strong drink. They are swallowed by wine. They stagger with strong drink. They reel in vision. They stumble in giving judgment. For all tables are full of filthy vomit with no space left. To whom will he teach knowledge, and to whom will he explain the message? Those who are weaned from the milk, those taken from the breast? For it is precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. For by people of strange lips and with a foreign tongue, the Lord will speak to this people, to whom he has said, This is rest, give rest to the weary, and this is repose, yet they would not hear. And the word of the Lord will be to them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little, that they may go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Therefore hear the word of the Lord, you scoffers, who rule this people in Jerusalem. Because you have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with Sheol we have an agreement. When the overwhelming whip passes through, it will not come to us. For we have made lies our refuge, 
and in falsehood we have taken shelter. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am the one who has laid as a foundation in Zion a stone, a tested stone, a precious cornerstone of a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not be in haste, and I will make justice the line and righteousness the plumb line, and hail will sweep away the refuge of lies, and waters will overwhelm the shelter. Then your covenant with death will be annulled, and your agreement with Sheol will not stand. When the overwhelming scourge passes through, you will be beaten down by it. As often as it passes through, it will take you, for morning by morning it will pass through, by day and by night, and it will be sheer terror to understand the message. For the bed is too short to stretch oneself on, and the covering too narrow to wrap oneself in. For the Lord will rise up as on Mount Perazim, as in the valley of Gibeon he will be roused, to do his deed, strange is his deed, and to work his work, alien is his work. Now therefore do not scoff, lest your bonds be made strong. For I have heard a decree of destruction from the Lord God of hosts against the whole land. Give ear and hear my voice, give attention and hear my speech. Does he who plows for sowing plow continually? Does he continually open and harrow his ground? When he has leveled its surface, does he not scatter dill, sow cumin, and put in wheat in rows and barley in its proper place, and emmer as the border? For he is rightly instructed, his God teaches him. Dill is not threshed with a threshing sledge, nor is a cartwheel rolled over cumin, but dill is beaten out with a stick and cumin with a rod. Does one crush grain for bread? No, he does not thresh it forever. When he drives his cartwheel over it with his horses, he does not crush it. This also comes from the Lord of hosts. He is wonderful in counsel and excellent in wisdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, let us say the Cantemus Domino together. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him, the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. The Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you had led the people you redeemed. You brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second lesson is a reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke, beginning with the second chapter, the first verse. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. 
And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And please join me in the new Demetrius. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And now as Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. A collect of the day. Stir up, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people, that bringing forth in abundance the fruit of good works, they may be abundantly rewarded when our Savior Jesus Christ 
comes to restore all things, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. For Monday, O God, O God, the source of all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee to you for comfort. Deliver us, we beseech you, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure. And grant that, perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Most loving Father, you will us to give thanks for all things, to dread nothing but the loss of you, and to cast all our care on the one who cares for us. Preserve us from faithless fears and worldly anxieties. Grant that no cloud of this mortal life may hide from us the light of that love which is immortal, and which you have manifested unto us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This time I invite you to add your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you for the life of Gordon we celebrated today. And Heavenly Father, we pray for all of those around the world who are being persecuted for their faith. And we pray for a spiritual revival in our own country. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Most heavenly and gracious Father, we praise your name. We thank you for all your provision. Father, we thank you for the life of Billy Sanders. We ask that you bring him into your arms. We thank you for the saints that have surrounded him, for his family, the witness that he was. And Father, we, we ask that your, your word be uh, preached in the churches of our land, help restore our country, bring us closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Heavenly Father, we do give you thanks for all the blessings that you bestow upon us, Lord. Give you thanks for the wonderful creation that you have made, that you have allowed us to be part of. Lord, I lift up to you today, my godson, Thomas. As a young man of 16, as he struggles with what his life is going to be, and he deals with his own fears and anxieties, Lord, I would ask you to bless him. Bless him and hold him tight. Keep your hand upon his shoulder and steer him. Steer him with the on the right path, Lord. And Lord, at this time, I ask you to bless all those people out there that are searching for you. Those that, especially those that don't even know that they're searching for you. Lord, shine the light of your church out as a beacon for them to follow. Lead them on the pathways to you, Lord. We ask this in all of our prayers, in the name of your precious Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness 
to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. This concludes our service for this evening. We hope it has blessed you and we look forward to you joining us here, same channel, every night this week at 